hello out there welcome to this tutorial on variation um, in this video we'll be looking at direct variation we look at the definition of direct variation the expression x alpha y where alpha is the symbol of variation is read as x varies directly as y or x is directly proportional to y it means as y increases so also x and as y decreases so also x x alpha y is translated as x is equal to k y where k is called the constant of proportionality or constant of variation so we take our first problem on direct variation if x varies directly as y and x is equal to 12 when y is equal to 3 a find the relation between x and y b find x when y is equal to 7 so in our solution if x varies directly as y then x is k y when x is 12 y is equal to 3 so 12 is equal to 3 k that will enable us find the value of k so dividing both sides by 3 k is equal to 4 we then go ahead to substitute k here to get our relation between x and y so we now have x is equal to 4 y so that is the relation between x and y or the formula connecting x and y so we go to b find x when y is 7 so we substitute y in this relation so that x will be 4 times 7 which gives 28 so we have been able to solve the problem one on direct variation we go to problem two for problem two if c varies directly as d and c is equal to 11 when d is 3.5 find the relationship between c and d hence find c when d is equal to 2.8 um we said if c varies directly as d then c is equal to kd where k is the constant we are going to look for c is equal to 11 when d is 3.5 so 11 is 3.5 k um k is 11 over 3.5 uh, we have to simplify this 11 over 3.5 so which means it is 11 divided by 3.5 is the same thing as 3 and a half and 3 and a half is 7 over 2 so 11 divided by 7 over 2 which gives 11 times 2 over 7 and uh, we cannot simplify further we just make it as single fraction 11 times 2 gives uh, 22 over 7 so we have k to be equal to 22 over 7 and uh, we now go ahead to find the relationship between c and d by substituting k in this relation so that we now have c is equal to 22d over 7 that is the relationship between c and d so we now go ahead to solve the second part of the problem um when d is 2.8 so c will be equal to 2 times 22 times 2.8 divided by 7 um again we can simplify this 22 Changing this to fraction, I will have it as 28 over 10. This is the 22 over 7. 22 over 7. 2.8 is 28 over 10. 
so we can say seven here one seven goes into 28 gives 4 22 times 4 gives 88 divide by 10 gives 8.8 .8. so the C is 8.8 .8 when D is 2.8 so we are done with the solution of problem 2 we go to problem 3 so problem 3 if m varies directly as n and m is equal to 5 when n is 8 a find the relationship between m and n b find m when n is equal to 64 and c find n when m is equal to 35 we we'll start the solution of the problem if m varies directly as n then m is equal to kn we now substitute when m is 5 so 5 is equal to 8k we find k k will be 5 over 8 dividing both sides by 8 so we go ahead to find the relationship between m and n by substituting k in this relation here that will now give us a 5n over 8 we go to b part of the problem for b part of the problem find m when n is 64 so when n is equal to 64 our m will be equal to 5 over 8 times 64 so 8 goes into 8 gives 1 64 divided by 8 gives 8 8 times 5 gives uh, 40 so m is equal to 40 when n is 64 so we go to c part of the problem find n when m is 35 so when m is 35 so it means 35 will be equal to 5n over 8 um, if we cross multiply and make n the subject of the formula there we have it as 8 times 35 over 5 5 goes into 5 gives 1 35 divided by 5 gives 7 7 times 8 gives 56 so n is equal to 56 when m is 35 so we are done with the solution of problem 3 we go to problem 4 if p is directly proportional to square root of q and p is equal to 8 when q is equal to 4 find p when q is equal to 49 um, this means p is directly proportional to square root of q as stated here uh, then p is equal to k root q where k is the constant and when p is 8 it means 8 is equal to k root 4 since this is 2k so we are going to say k is equal to 4 because this is 2k is equal to 8 dividing both sides by 2 k is equal to 4 we then go ahead to create our formula as p is equal to 4 root q that is the formula and uh, we have to find p when q is 49 so when q is equal to 49 uh, substituting it here we have p equal to 4 times root 49 and root 49 is 7 7 times 4 gives a uh, 28 so we have a p to be equal to 28 when q is 49 so we are done with problem 4 we go to problem 5 if x minus 3 is directly proportional to the square of y and x is 5 when y is equal to 2 find x when y is equal to 6 so from here if x minus 3 is directly proportional to y squared 
that square of y then x minus 3 is ky squared so that when x is 5 we have 5 minus 3 equal to y is 2 that's a 2 squared k and this is 4k is equal to 2 5 minus 3 gives 2 2 squared is 4 4k is equal to 2 dividing both sides by 4 k is equal to 1 over 2 because 2 divide 2 to give 1 and 2 divide 4 to give 2 so our constant here is 1 over 2 then we create our formula at that point we are going to make x the subject of the formula that's a half y squared plus 3 so that is the formula connecting x and y then we now go ahead to find x when y is 6 so we now have x will be equal to 6 squared over 2 plus 3 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 gives 18 plus 3 gives uh, 21 so x is equal to 21 when y is equal to 6 so we are done with uh, problem 5 we go to problem 6 for problem 6 we have the weight that's w in newtons of an object varies directly as its mass m kilograms an object of mass 15 kilograms weighs 147 newtons what is the weight of a body of mass 35 kilograms um, from here we need to translate this mathematically the weight w of an object that is if the weight varies directly as m then w is equal to km where k is the constant and m is the mass so an object of mass 15 kg that's when m is 15 w is 147 so we have 147 is equal to 15 k so 15 k dividing both sides by 15 k is 147 over 15 um, if you use your calculator we have 9.8 but if you are not allowed to use calculator you go on long division you can check one of our videos on our youtube channel for long division so this k is equal to 9.8 since k is 9.8 we go ahead to create our formula from here so that w now will be 9.8 m 9.8 m so that's the formula connecting the weight and the mass um they now ask us to find the weight of a body of mass 35 kg that's when m is 35 kg w will be 9.8 times 35 9.8 times 35 if you use your calculator we have it as 343 newtons the weight will be 343 newtons so we are done with problem 6 we go to problem 7 for problem 7 we have the exchange rate of the naira to the dollar is such that the naira varies directly as the dollar if $1,200 is exchanged for 432,000 Naira, how much would $700 be? 
be exchanged for um, here we are not giving the letters to represent naira or dollar so what we do is we use n to represent naira and d to represent dollar so we say if n varies directly as d as naira varies directly as dollar then n is kd where k is the constant we are going to look for its value so if one thousand two hundred dollars that's if d is one thousand two hundred then n is four hundred and thirty two thousand so we have it as four hundred and thirty two thousand is equal to one thousand two hundred k dividing both sides by 1200 we have k is equal to 432,000 over 1200 um, if you go by cancellation of this zero along division we are going to have 360 as the value of k then creating a formula between n and d by substituting k in this relation here we have n is equal to 360 d this is to tell you now that uh, one dollar is equal to 360 naira that's to say if you put d equal to one now our n will be 360 the exchange rate here now is that one dollar is equivalent to 360 naira we now go ahead to find the value of n when d is 700 so when d is 700 n is 360 times 700 36 times 7 gives 252 then add the three zeros so 700 dollars will be what 252 thousand naira that's the end of solution to problem seven and uh, invariably this is the end of this tutorial on direct variation check the description section of this video on our youtube channel for the other types of variations until we come your way again goodbye